Hey what's up guys, Eskazoo here and welcome to episode 2 of Team of the Year Fatal. This episode actually should have been out this time last week but unfortunately due to me being ill and also picking up an injury on ski holiday I wasn't able to play any FIFA or make any videos for you guys which uh, really really sucked. Goes a bit better now with my health and also of course with my wrist because I am able to play FIFA now but last week I wasn't able to do anything at all um i was very very afraid that it was broken but uh it is heavily bruised right now it goes a bit better still a little bit in pain but i can't play fifa now unfortunately skilling is still a thing that i'm not able to do fully because i tried it out and like the bone near my thumb is actually kind of like bruised so um yeah that kind of sucks but anyway i was able to uh, to record this uh, fatal episode for you guys because I obviously don't want to like stay on episode one forever which uh, obviously wouldn't like help me in this series whatsoever but um yeah in the previous episode i gave you guys some options and uh, griezmann and informant zonzi were actually the two players we decide to add to the team or you guys decide to add to the team and as you can see already, Griezmann picked up a really, really nice goal. A nice shot across goal, uh, giving us the lead in the game against a pretty strong team. Who also had, the, I think, a really uh, deadly striker force in, I think, Lacazette and also Griezmann. So, um, yeah, it was a good team to play against. But with us actually being much and much better. And uh, Griezmann here as well, making his second goal of the game. Making it 2-0 already. And we completely dominated the first half. And because of it, my opponent actually decided to rage quit, which meant... We were able to get another 100k extra, so uh, the coin total we do get from this game alone is 160k, which is a really, really nice amount to uh, actually spend on players already. You can see from the stats, he didn't create anything despite him having a really, really strong team. And um, yeah, we started off uh, this first game uh, amazingly already. You can see it right there, top right hand corner, 160k after uh, three games in Fatal. Then we move on to what will be uh, the second game. We come up against a Premier League team with some really, really pacey players up front in Musa and also Jamie Vardy, the Leicester City striker duo. And uh, we start things off here with Munir. We picked up a free kick and I was debating, should I take it with Griezmann or with Iniesta? Decide to take it with Iniesta, I'm not really the greatest free kick. I think I took it a little bit uh, too quick as well, but that was mainly because he decided to put the player on the line. And um, yeah, it wasn't really the greatest chance. Then at 22nd minute, another chance here from the captain, Iniesta. As you know, I'm playing him as a striker, and this time he actually puts it wide. Uh, then we move on, 35th minute, a big chance for my opponent to a really, really good save there from the keeper. Could have easily gone in. Uh, great uh, great shot there from Musa as well. Then uh, 40th minute, we play a through ball there to our left back, Jordan Lukaku. And we do make it 1-0 just before half time. A nice goal there, nice shot across goal, giving us the lead in this game. Then uh, we're still in the first half, in the 44th minute, he picks the ball up here on the edge of the box with Bellerin, also his, uh, his wing back. And he actually scored with his weaker foot, a really nice shot. And I actually thought it got deflected, but you can see it from the replay. It actually went in top corner just from Bellerin alone. So uh, really nice shot from him, uh, getting him back into the game. Now 45th minute, he gets himself another chance. I was really afraid that I was going to concede another goal. But again, a good save there from the keeper. So um, yeah, first half, it was a bit even. I think my opponent had one or two more shots. And in the second half, he started off strong already here with Musa again. The shot wasn't the greatest, but uh, he set a lot of pressure on me. And with those two strikers, it was uh, difficult to defend at times. We got some chances too towards the end. Uh, we picked up a corner in the 90th minute. Well, we do get another chance after he wasn't able to, uh, to clear the ball away properly. We do get some shots in with uh, Griezmann and I think also with Munir, but the goalkeeper saved. And um, that's how the first 90 minutes ended. You can see from the stats, they were, uh, they were pretty much even. Then uh, we move on, it will be extra time. He starts off from kickoff, and uh, again, he sets a lot of pressure on me, especially with Vardy and also with Musa. He plays it around a bit here with Rooney, he plays it on through here. Nice ball there to Musa, but a fantastic block there from one of our defenders, who again uh, kept us into, uh, into this game. Then uh, still first half of extra time, he played it on through here to Nzonzi, who finds Iniesta, turns around a little bit. He does get a shot in here as well, which the goalkeeper saves. And then from the rebound, it is Griezmann who does make it 2-1. And again, shows how important he actually is for us because uh, he actually scores the winning goal, uh, the 2-1, and uh, his third goal already in two games. Uh, then we move on here. The final chance of the game. We were very, very close, making it 3-1. Here as uh, Sao on the ball cuts in, cross it in to Griezmann. Was very close to making his uh, second goal of the game. But a good save from Begovic, and that is how the game ended. So uh, once again, a win for us after we actually picked up a loss in the previous game. But we actually won uh, the next game, I think, with 8-0 in the previous episode, which was a bit crazy. But uh, these games so were, or at least this game especially, was a bit more even, a bit more exciting to watch, I think. 
And um, yeah, not a victory for us, which means we get 30k extra, and that means we're able to spend 190k on the on the next two players we're gonna be putting into our team. So um, the pairs I decide to go with are pair one. We have the uh, squad building challenge version of Lacazette, the four star skiller, and we also have a five star skiller in Hatem Ben Arfa from PSG. Still rocking the four triple two formation. I'm not too sure if I still be playing with this formation once we uh, reach the final episode. But um, yeah, moving on to pair two, we have again. And the two players from the previous episode, uh, the uh, squad building challenge version of Douglas Costa and Thiago, two five star skillers, a little bit less chemistry compared to the other pair. But um, yeah, that's something you guys have to decide which pair we should go with. So uh, let me know in the comments down below which pair you want to go with. Uh, I'll leave two comments as per usual, which you can vote on. And uh, that's pretty much going to be the end. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. So to thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.